Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Friday, and that means it is time for FIFA 20 headliners. We are getting the headliners promotion today on FIFA 20. We've had three days of loading screens leading up to today. Today is finally the day where we are going to see the promo, see what they're going to do. We got our third loading screen today with more letters in the outsides, more nationalities. The W is green now on the, on the fourth you know, ring there, and then it, tons of stuff happened today with that loading screen. Again, a lot of stuff to kind of digest. So I want to take a look at the loading screen really quick uh, and then talk about what kind of stuff we're going to see today, what kind of market movements you can look out for, and possibly some of the cards that could get in and other types of cards we could see getting panic sold maybe today, depending on what this means for live items on this game. I want to take a look first and what we have over here, this isn't the most high quality screenshot by any means, but I just want to take a peek at it. Uh, this right here looks to be one of the um, part of the ship from Manchester City's logo right there. So I think we're going to be guaranteed a City player. Uh, again, we'll have an English player, we'll have a Spanish player, and a French player from now from, uh, of what we know. Supposedly in the letters out here, it says Treore. I thought it said Keppa as well, like there's a G in it. I don't know, man. I think they're trying to leak some of these cards out. I don't understand all the names that are out there or all the letters and stuff. But today we're finally going to figure out what happens with this headliner promo in uh, in FIFA Ultimate Team. So I want to talk about a few of the cards that we could see today, especially some of the ones that people are expecting to come, right? If somebody is expected to get a headliner today, let's, like, let's talk Adama Traore. You might see a little bit of panic selling uh, on his informs heading into... Uh, what you would call to be the promo drop today. So you might see this card get panic sold a little bit today. And to be honest, do I think this should be panic sold? I don't really know. Is there a reason for people to panic sell this Adama card? I'm specifically thinking of the right wing. This one right here, the 83, the new team of the week one. Is there really a specific reason for people to panic sell this card if he does get a headliner? I mean, yes, I, I suppose you could say so. I would expect the biggest amount of drop in this Scream card. If there's going to be a headliner, I would assume it would also be 85 rated. It would probably have similar stats or better stats in the other categories other than shot and passing for this 85 rated Adama here with the Scream version. If they give him a headliner, I think it would be better than this 85. And I think that this 85 would kind of drop off a little bit, maybe down to like eh, maybe somewhere around like 175. 175,000 coins, but uh, the new headliner card would obviously replace that and be very interesting to see. But this is kind of the thing I want to talk about today. I want to talk about the panic, uh, if we're going to see some panic, which I think we will, uh, and talk about what's going to happen along with the drop today as well. So we kind of know about a few cards already. Not really. We have hunches, right? We have some hunches of who these cards might be. Obviously, Adama Traore is one of the bigger uh, hunches that a lot of people think is he's going to end up getting in because of those letters being in the loading screen. Also, with Dries Mertens, people think that Mertens is going to get in based on the letters that were in the loading screen as well. So you might see a little bit of panic selling on the team of the group stage and the uh, inform as well because those are both Mertens' cards. Uh, and I, I do want to say a little bit about this. Mertens didn't really go up today for rewards, and this would be kind of my, his reasoning, the reason why, right? Mertens was kind of his normal 290-ish thousand coins most of the entire day today. That's probably a mixture of people thinking he's going to be in, so they're selling, and also his price staying steady because some people are just buying his card for Weekend League because they don't know any better. So this Mertens didn't move too much. Another guy that could get in is Tellez, um, and... I would look for some panic on these types of cards as well. The thing that I remember most about last year and the out of packs informs or out of pack special cards of the cards that actually got a headliner card, there was a lot of panic selling on those and there was profit to be made because people did not understand what the headliners meant. And tomorrow we're going to have our own little bit of, um, you know, information to take and to, to realize as well. We're going to have some more information to take in because we're not really going to know what do these cards mean. Are the upgrades going to be the same? Based on the way that the loading screen looks, it's going to be different, right? With the, you know, like the, the arrow pointing at the four in the first um, the first loading screen, and now that four being replaced with four Ws. And then I guess it, it looks like something to do with uh, something with four Ws, like four wins. I don't understand what that really means. We're going to find out tomorrow. And th this is what I want to say about this. At 6 p.m. tomorrow when we get the content drop, we get these cards, 
we get all the information. There's probably going to be a page um, on on EA's website like this one right here. There's probably going to be a page that says FIFA 20 headliners with all of this information. It's going to take a bit for people to realize what these cards are and what they do. Of course, you're going to have the people that open packs right away. They're going to go in. They're going to open their lightning rounds. I would expect to see lightning rounds tomorrow. We'll talk about more trading stuff with that here towards the end of the video as well. But uh, it's going to take a bit for people to just realize and to digest what these headliner cards are going to be doing, how they're going to be upgraded, and what that means for us as a community and what types of market movements we're going to see because of that. So last year, of course, we've talked about this plenty of times already. They could not have an existing dynamic item, a team of the year, or a base rating above 90. I wonder if they're going to change that for this year. It looks like they're changing that based on what they showed in the loading screens with the four W's and stuff like that. So I wonder if that's going to change. And that's going to take a bit for people to realize, right? If it is something along the lines of a player's team has to win four games or something for them to get an upgrade that makes it more of like a team boost right that makes it that makes me think more of a road to the final card and not a specific um player individual performance type upgrade is going to boost that card like last year with headliners so i'm really curious to see what happens with these but it looks like they're going to be dynamic items because of the way that they show the upgrades and stuff like that's just what headliners are um in this game so again english i don't know who i don't really don't know who's going to be the english player french not really sure with that belgium we think it is uh is mertens we think Telles is in possibly keppa is in as well i think lecomte could get in a lot of people are saying lewandowski is as well um might be like the headline star player kind of for the front of of all our you know all the, the loading screens and stuff like that we might see a special headliner lewandowski but again today at 6 p.m uk friday when the promo gets released if they don't release anything early like if there's no leaks there's no squad that gets released early or information about these cards that gets released early you're gonna see a lot of people have to take in the knowledge and just fully understand what these cards do um and i honestly think that these cards are gonna have a decently high pack weight that's how they were last year they had a decently high pack weight so when lightning rounds hit we, we figured out what they were they were going to be the best version of that card uh until like team of the season so that gives these cards value, right? Their prices were kind of high, but they dropped down low in that first couple of, of lightning rounds really fast because uh, people were opening packs. And this is also, think about this too, there will be lightning rounds tomorrow if it's a new promo. There will be promo packs of some other sort as well. And there's also going to be saved up packs. I see so many people right now on Twitter. I see so many people on uh, on YouTube and on, on Twitch going and doing drafts to get packs. They're saving up packs. They're doing league SBCs to get packs. There, some people have even saved upgrade packs from the Premier League, La Liga, Serie A, and Bundesliga upgrades that we had last week for Team of the Year. Some people have even saved those up, and they're waiting to open those during this promo, which isn't a terrible shout, by the way, personally. But uh, there's a lot of packs that I think are going to be opened right away at the start. People have saved weekend league rewards as well. How can I count that out? So many people have saved their weekend league rewards for this promo and that's something that i think is very important to think about as well because that means once those cards are in packs it's a lot of people that are going to be opening these packs uh and I, I do think it could cause a little bit of a surge of these headliners onto the market we'll just have to evaluate and see are they at a low price right away and we'll have to judge that and everything like that but tomorrow if you're looking for ways to be on the market of course during lightning rounds one of my favorite places to go if you have anywhere above like a million coins is where i'd say this is a great spot to be is the icon 59th minute with the basic chem style it is a fantastic place to be this is the kind of filter i would set up if i was on like 1.4 million coins i'd set a minimum by now at 800k and i would set a maximum at my maximum coin amount which is 1.5 basically and I would get down to the 59th minute. I would compare price on a lot of these cards, start to learn the prices of some of these icons, get to that 59th minute really quick and see what kind of deals that you can get from people packing an icon right away in their lighting rounds or save packs or weekend league rewards and listing that icon up too cheap on the market just because they wanted to sell. You would be surprised at how often that happens. The icon 59th with the basic chem style is a fantastic place to be during lightning rounds like we always talk about. The other thing that I really, really, really want to mention to you guys, and I think this is huge, is we are edging closer and closer to one of the, the most uh, important times for Road to the Final Cards. We are just over a month away, and you're like, yo, why are you talking about Road to the Final Cards 
when they're a month away. This promo right here might be one of the last times we see a panic on these cards when not really anybody is thinking about them. Think about the promos that we have upcoming in the next couple of weeks, right? We may have future stars and we may have winter ones to watch. Those are kind of the promos that we have in like that February time frame before these cards will be playing again in late February. And when February comes around, everybody's going to start thinking about these in the game. So that's why I'm saying if you want one of these guys for your team and if you think they're going to get upgraded or even if you want to stock one in the club, if it's like a cheaper guy, um, maybe like a Nerez, right? Maybe you think Ajax can do really well. Nerez is up a decent amount, but if you see panic on any of these road to the final cards this weekend, I personally think that these cards are a good shout for uh, buying in the panic. If there's a player that comes out, let's say there's a right mid, like even if they, I, I'm not leaving this out of question right now, maybe that they, they say that road to the final cards can um, actually those players can get headliners. I really don't know. I thought about that a little bit. Maybe they change it up this year. Who knows? But let's say Sancho gets a headliner for whatever reason. Maybe this uh, Champions League got him goes down because he's got a, a better card, stuff like that. Or if you see panic, if there's another Brazilian center mid, like let's say Fabinho or Wijnaldum gets a, um, a headliner card, Maybe you see some panic selling on this Allen card. Maybe you see some panic selling on Militao if they give somebody else, like a center back in uh, like Lang Lei. Maybe Lang Lei or Varan gets a, a headliner card. Maybe you see a little bit of panic selling there. So I would watch these cards if you do see panic selling on cards you think are going to be rising up into the hype. And to tell which ones are going to rise up into the hype before they could possibly get their upgrades at the end of February, just look at these graphs, dude. Usman Dembele during Team of the Year. Right before team of the year, 750,000 coins. The man is up to 925k. Eder Militao is 499k. He's up 100,000 coins. Conte is up. Conte's up 100k too. He was 600 and like 80, 690k right around here this time. Right before his team of the year got released, he's up to 835. So there's a lot of these road to the final cards that if you see panic on them tomorrow, and it's a buy for your team. I'm going to let me stress that it's a buy for your team that you're going to hold on to and not sell. Then I would look at picking some of them up like tomorrow. We could get a, uh, a headliner. Um, what's his name? The 84 rated inform LeCompte. I think we're getting a, a headliner LeCompte tomorrow because of the he's number 40. There was a number 40 in one of those loading screens. Maybe you see a Yoris fall a little bit. Another French keeper with good stats to challenge him, even though it's a live item. The headliner, um, LeCompte, would be a live item as well. So maybe you see a card like this drop a little bit tomorrow. Just watch some of these cards and then watch all special cards in general. We're talking out of packs, in forms. If Team of the Year's drop tomorrow, I will just be beside myself because that's ridiculous because I don't think any of the cards coming out tomorrow should be anything near or closely related to a Team of the Year card. Um, you can watch some Team of the Group stages as well. Again, one thing that I really like to watch... Ooh. 390 for Salah. He was like 420 yesterday. Maybe we get like a right wing. Yeah, dude, what's up with this? What is up with this? Premier League Salah, 420k last night. The man's down to 390 right now. Okay, maybe you're seeing a few people start to sell a little bit as we head into this promo. Just something to kind of watch and, and keep an eye on. But out of pack special cards, team of the year nominees, team of the group stage, road to the finals, scream cards, all of those. Keep an eye on those today. If there is panic selling, especially if that player gets like, we'll do use Varan or Lewandowski as an example right now. Let's use Varan. I want to take you guys through this really quick too, because this is something we could very, very easily see tomorrow if somebody gets a headliner. And this is what I was talking about a little bit earlier in the video as well. Let's say Varan gets a headliner tomorrow. This inform right here is how many coins? 400 something. All right. He's like 400 something thousand coins ish somewhere around there, right? Let's say he gets a headliner tomorrow. This card drops because it's no longer the best version of Varane. This card also drops. Watch the gap between what that Varane card would be priced and what the inform is, you know? Whenever you have too much of a gap between that newest best special card and then a lower tier card of that same player, the next lowest, sometimes that gap gets too big, right? And a lot of times you think about half, right? So if the new Varane card comes out, and he's 800k and people are buying him up for 800k one to two hours after the lightning rounds he's been out in packs he's 800,000 coins okay maybe he drops to 700k overnight a little bit but then you have this inform right here that's what 400 whatever thousand and it drops to like 
low 300s are like 350 and you're like okay this card right now is 800k this card is 350k there's got to be a little bit of leg room in there because that's just too big of a gap for some of these cards so watch some of the panic selling tomorrow um, because i do think it will rebound and i think it can rebound fast because think about this there's still a ton of people in this game this promo headliners is going to be way more friendly to the people who have less than 500,000 coins than team of the year was so that that gives more incentive for them to be on the game we're probably going to have more sbcs and stuff like that to have people on the game and it's weekend league tomorrow man people are going to be buying back their teams they're going to be trying out headliner cards links you know link investments to some of the headliner cards could do pretty well as well tomorrow um when we see the headliners and when we watch that stuff come out so watch out for those as well if you see any quick market movements you can make with link investments to headliners that a lot of people would want to use uh, watch that for sure. But the thing about promos on Friday is Friday night, people buy stuff back and it honestly starts happening at the end of that second lightning round. So whatever kind of panic, whatever kind of cards come out, whatever crazy stuff they do, if they throw more cards into packs, whatever it is, the panic usually subsides by the middle of that second lightning round. So 7.30 to 8 p.m. UK is kind of your time where you can start to watch the market. And if you see a bunch of panic selling, you start to see it rise back up because people are done opening packs. They're done checking out the new cards and they're ready to get their weekend leagues underway. They're ready to play. They've they've done whatever they want to do. Maybe there's an SBC. They've done what they want to do and they want to get onto the weekend league and keep playing in the game. So that's when you start to see the market rising up the most. And again, it's going to be coin injection tomorrow with more packs being opened and stuff like that. So just more coins coming onto the game. Last minute thoughts. If you did a high rated club stock, you're chilling right now. If you did a high rated club stock at the end of team of the year, take your money on these cards. If you have them in the club, if you invested because they're up and there's going to be more lightning rounds tomorrow. I don't expect an SBC first day. A lot of times for first days on the first day of a promo, we don't get SBCs, but take the money on some of these cards tomorrow. I'm excited, man. I'm excited for headliners. I just like the orange card design. I think it looks sweet. Uh, and I'm excited to see what kind of uh, what kind of changes they make to the headliners, how they work, if they're live, stuff like that. And of course, the player selection, I'm really excited to see as well. So if you enjoyed this video and you're excited for headliners, hit the thumbs up button. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.